good morning all of you welcome to amrita as academy today we are resuming our program learn c sat through pyqs we have already completed topics from number system ratio and proportion average and percentage today we are resuming the process with an another topic called profit and loss before moving into the topic let me say one thing that before watching this particular video you have to watch the uh, videos or the pyq previous year questions that we have solved from the topic percentage so the description the link of the video will be pro is provided in the description so kindly watch that video before moving to the topic questions from the topic profit and loss okay the uh, topic profit and loss is said to be a bit difficult topic often times students complain that the questions from the topic profit and loss is bit difficult they complain because uh, often times co coaching institute and students believe that there need to understand the one has to understand certain shortcuts certain tricks in order to to solve the questions from the topic profit and loss but today we are going to solve the entire questions from the topic without much relying on any kind of equations or shortcut uh, equations by just knowing the basic idea of a percentage of the ideas of percentage and the basic idea of what actually a sale process is sale process in the sense what is the cost price what is a selling price what do you mean by profit what do you mean by loss etc so by knowing these two basic things one one ha one can uh, uh, solve all the questions and the questions from the topic profit and loss and as far as the upsc csat paper is concerned there are very limited question i think there are only 8 to 9 questions have, have been asked in this particular topic for the last 7 7 and 8 years okay so the uh, strike rate of the number of questions from the particular topic is very limited though we have to attempt all the questions we cannot uh, leave a questions because uh, on the reason that the question is has asked from the topic profit and loss and it is very difficult no the top the questions are very simple we can solve the entire question by knowing very limited knowledge and the basic understanding of what actually a person what actually the ideas of percentage and the concept of profit and loss okay so we are moving to the topic profit and loss before moving to the before directly moving to the questions uh, i would like to mention certain basic things regarding a sale process sale process in the sense what you actually mean by a selling price what is cost price what do you mean by profit what do you mean by loss loss percentage cost per, uh, profit percentage etc so the first thing is what I actually mean by a profit as you all know a profit is nothing but the difference between the selling price and the cost price so now we have to talk about what actually is the selling price and cost price okay so selling price is the price at which a particular product is sold and cost price is the price at which that particular product is purchased by the seller i will explain if a seller has purchased a particular good at a price of 100 so this is the cost price which means the price at which a particular good is purchased by the seller seller means the person so he has purchased this good at a price of 100 so he cost actually 100 rupees for that good so that is why it is cost price is 100 okay he sold the particular good at a price of 110 which is a selling price of the good clear so in this case the cost price is 100 and the selling price is 110 clear okay let me ask you a question does he experience a loss or profit here yes he experienced a profit here because he cost just 100 rupees and he earned 110 rupees by selling that particular good so he actually earned a profit of what 10 rupees which obtained by taking the difference of 110 and 100 110 is the selling price 100 is the cost price the difference between selling price difference between selling price and cost price is actually the profit he purchased a good at rupees 100 that is what the cost price unfortunately he or she has to sell that particular good at 90 by any reasons so actually the selling price is 90 and the cost price is 100 so does he earn any profit here no he actually he or she actually earns a profit uh, uh, 
experience a loss here a loss of 10 rupee which is the difference of 90 and sorry 100 and 90 100 is actually the cost price so cost price minus selling price is actually what the loss is so profit is a difference between selling price minus cost price selling price and cost price loss is a difference between cost price and a selling price simple idea clear okay moving to the next one we have to find the profit percentage if you have to find the profit percentage as well as the loss percentage you have to just do one thing if you are if it is asked about the profit percentage then the equation will be or the idea will be profit divided by cost price into 100 this profit is actually the selling price minus cost price right exactly so if you have asked to find the profit percentage then you have to do just one thing find out the find the find out what, what actually the profit is divided by what actually the cost price is into 100 because it is asking the percentage so we have to multiply it into it in 100 clear if you are asked to find the loss percentage then the equation or the idea will be <coughs> loss divided by cost price into 100 simple idea so this loss is uh, given as cost price minus selling price which we have already done clear so if you have to find out the loss per profit percentage you have to calculate profit divided by cost price into 100 if you have asked to find the loss percentage then we have to you have to do the loss divided by cost percentage into 100 simple idea clear okay apart from that there is a conventional approach or the unconventional approach of solving the questions from profit and loss by using certain formulas clear okay such a formula is provided here however i would like to say that this formula can uh, you need not follow this ab abstract, uh, abstract formula but this idea can be used to solve every question without by hearting the equation however as a convention i am prova i am given these equations for you but once you understand the idea of this equation you cannot by heart this particular equation without by hearting these equations these lengthy four equations you can do exercise you can solve all the questions by understanding the idea underlying these each equations so i will explain what is the idea underlying these basic four equations so that you you need not by heart all these four equations clear but we are taking the idea only not the equation as such clear okay fine so i would like to mention you certain basic things more regarding the concept selling price and cost price clear okay fine let me see if moving back to the earliest earlier question earlier example the cost price of a particular good is 100 and the selling price of that good is 110 so he earns he or she earns a profit of 10 rupees clear okay fine so this 10 rupee is a profit for, he, uh, for the person which means that we have to find the profit percentage the profit percentage is the amount profit earned is 10 divided by what is the cost price it is 100 into 100 so 100 100 will cancel each other so the profit percentage is 10 percentage so when a person purchase a particular good at 100 and sells at uh, 110 so he earns a profit of 10 rupees and the profit percentage is 10 percent simple idea because the cost price is 100 clear okay fine now if i if uh, see if the selling price is not given here and only the cost price and the profit percentage is given if we want to find out the selling price we may usually rely on this particular equations but I am going to take the only idea conveyed in this particular equation without entirely uh, following these equations. So what, what is the idea? That's what I am talking about. See here the cost price is 100 rupees and the profit percentage is 10 percentage clear. Okay. So there will be a selling price and I have to calculate what actually is the selling price. 
<coughs> okay, the profit percentage is 10 percentage. So, a person purchased a particular good 100. When he sold a particular good, he earned a profit of 10 percentage. Clear? Okay. That is, this the so selling price is 10 percentage higher than 10 percentage hi, the, uh, higher than this cost price. Okay, I will explain more. The, se the se sell uh, selling price is one uh, selling price is 100 plus 10 which we have already obtained. This 100 is what actually is the 100 percentage of cost price, right? 100 percentage of cost price plus what is this 10 percentage? It is the, uh, 10 rupee. It is the 10 percentage of cost price. Clear? So, the selling price is 100 is a sum of 100 plus 10 rupees. The 100 is the 100 percentage of cost price. And the 10 is the 10 percentage of cost price. Why I have taken 10 percentage here? Because the profit percentage is 10 here. 10 percentage is here. Clear? Okay, fine. So, the selling price is a sum of 100 percentage of cost price plus 10 percentage of cost, cost price. So, it is a 110 percentage of cost price. Clear? So, the cost price is given and the profit percentage is given. So, the selling price can be obtained by what? 110 percentage of cost price that is 110 divided by 100 into cost price. So, now the idea is clear. If the cost price is 100 and the profit price profit percentage is 20 percentage, then the selling price will be 120 by 100 into cost price. Clear? If the cost price is 100, and the profit percentage is 30, then the selling price will be 130 by 100 into a cost price. Simple idea. Clear? Okay. So, the profit percentage can be, sorry, the selling price can be obtained in this particular case, like this. Okay. Now, we are moving to the equation. To justify that, this particular, this basic idea is underlined in this equation, but we, we are not following any equations. Okay. Fine. So, let me see. So, here, so we have to find out the selling price here. See, the cost price is 100, clear? Okay, fine. 100 plus gain percentage or profit percentage. What actually is the profit percentage? It is 10 percentage, clear? So, 100 plus 10, 100 plus 10 is 110, clear? 110 by 100, yes, 110 by 100 into cost price, yes, correct. So, this is what is what expressed in this particular case. But we, as a civil servant or an, as a civil service aspirant, we have to find the idea in every case. We have to follow what actually, uh, what what idea is underlined in any in, in, a, in a particular case. So, in this particular equation, what the idea underlined is, the selling price is the sum of the cost price plus the profit earned through this particular, through that sale. I am repeating once again, the selling price, the selling price is the sum of the cost price and the profit, clear? In this particular case, the selling price is the sum of cost price and the, the selling, uh, the profit, per profit, the selling price is 100, 100 is actually the 100 percentage of the cost price, clear? Okay, 10, 10 is the 10 percentage of the cost price, 100 percentage of cost price, plus 10 percentage of cost price is actually the 110 percentage of the cost price. 110 percentage can be written as 110 by 100 into cost price, which is actually the selling price. That is actually the, uh, the equation say uh, is actually given. Clear, simple idea. So, we have to, you have to just understand what actually the idea behind in every equation. This is the idea in this particular case. Clear? Okay. So, this is the case of, in, uh, of a profit. Okay. Let me discuss about the, discuss about a case of loss okay okay uh, loss sorry uh, cost price if the cost price is 100 so he or she suffered a loss percentage of 10 percentage i have to find out the selling price clear okay so the cost price is 100 and the percentage of loss is 10 percentage and we have to find what actually is the selling price is. 
clear okay since the person has suffered a loss it indicates that the cost price he is higher than the selling price he sold that good at a price lower than that of the cost price clear so since this is a case of a loss which means that the cost price will be higher than the selling price we have to find the selling price okay so the selling price will be less than the cost price so it is the difference between the cost price minus 100 minus the 10 percentage what is the 10 percentage of cost price it is a 10 so the selling price is 100 minus 10 percentage of cost price is 10 so this 100 percentage is what actually is the 100 percentage of cost price minus this 10 is the 10 percentage of cost price so 100 percentage of cost price minus 10 percentage of cost price is equal to 90 percentage of cost price clear so 90 by 100 into cost price so we can find out what is the selling price by knowing the cost cost price and the loss percentage without relaying any kind of equations by using simple common sense clear okay we know that the uh, selling price is 90 rupees clear this 90 is obtained by taking the difference of 100 and 10 100 is a hundred percentage of say cost price 10 is the 10 percentage of cost price so 100 percentage of cost price minus 10 percentage of cost price is equal to 90 percentage of cost price 90 by 100 into cost price clear simple idea so the 90 is obtained by difference of 100 minus 10 clear so if it is given that the loss percentage is 20 then the selling price will be 80 by 100 into cost price clear if it is given that the loss percentage is 15 percent then the selling price will be equal to 85 divided by 100 into cost price simple idea so this basic two ideas can be applied in every case in every case clear okay fine now let me move on to the equations the equation says <coughs> sp is equal to sp is equal to 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100 yes 100 is here loss percentage is 10 percentage 100 minus 10 is 90 90 is given here divided by 100 100 is here into cp yes into cp is here so without relying entirely and like abruptly on the equation we have understand the idea underlying in every equation so either equations are okay equations are correct perfect but we are we have find out the idea behind every equations clear fine so by knowing basic these things we can solve any questions from the topic profit and loss so now we are moving to the questions from question number one uh, asked from asked in the year 2014 clear okay moving to first question the question is if Sohan while selling to God at the same price makes a profit of 10 percentage while selling to God at the same price at the same price makes a profit of 10 percentage on one God and suffers a loss of 10 percentage on the other option a he makes no profit and low loss. He makes a profit of one percentage. He makes a profit of one person. Uh, he makes a loss of one percentage. He suffers a loss of two percentage. So out of the entire questions from this particular topic, this is the most toughest out of this put out of the, this question and the coming seven question. This question is a bit is the most difficult out of this question. However, it can be solved within two minutes without relying any kind of hard equations or uh etc so by knowing the simple ideas we can solve this question within minutes clear okay so we are laying our ideas let me uh read the question once again if sohan while selling to got at the same price so the selling price at two case the person so uh, is about to sell or selling two goats uh while selling one god uh he gets what uh, a profit of 10 percentage in the second case he uh gets a loss of 10 percentage okay and the question says the selling price is same in both case which means that the cost price is not same in both case the cost price is different in both cases clear okay let the in the first case 
let the cost price in first case in first case be 100 let the cost price in first case be 100 so i am taking the uh, cost price in the first case in the first case as 100 okay and it says uh, in the first case the person sohan earned a profit of 10 percent so the selling price will be here the cost price is 100 and the profit percentage is 10 percentage so the selling percentage will be yes you are correct 110 divided by 100 into cost price sorry into 100 clear so then we can write 100 100 cancel each other so 110 without follow without writing this equation one can assume that if we earned a profit of 10 percentage it is 10 percent of 100 10 plus 100 is 110 simple idea clear okay i written like this just to uh, familiarize with the concept once again clear okay fine so the selling price in the in the uh, in this particular case is 110 and the question says the selling price is same in both case in case 1 and 2 the selling price is same so selling price is 110 in first case so selling prices will be all will also 110 in second case okay so second case second case selling price is 110 and the loss percentage is 10 percentage loss percentage is 10 percentage so i have to find what actually is the cost price is i have to find what actually is the cost price is okay uh, if cost price in second case is x so i am rubbing it if the cost price in second case is x then x into what is the loss percentage here 10 percentage so i can return x into cost price into 90 by 100 which is equal to the which is equal to the selling price so what is that selling price right now we have already go that the selling price is 110 now we can find out the uh, cost price in second case in the first case the cost price we are assuming that the cost price is 100 now the cost price can be obtained as 110 into 100 divided by 99 sorry 90 clear so 9 9 cancel each other so 1100 divided by 9 and it is equal to 122.22 so this is the idea so i have taken um, the cost price in the first case is 100 and i have, i have got the selling price in the first case is 110 taking the selling price same in both case as the question asked question demands so selling price in the second case is 110 and we have we can find out the cost price in the second case by using the basic idea without relying any any equations clear okay fine so now in the initial case the cost price was 100 and the selling price is 110 in the second case the cost price is 122.2 and the selling price is 100 sorry 110 so in the initial case the cost price was 100 and the selling price is 110 in the second case the cost price is 122.2 and the selling price is 110 in the first case first case he have he has obtained a profit of 10 rupee in the second case he has obtained or he faced he suffered a loss of what 12.22 rupees 122 minus 110 cost price minus selling price is a loss clear okay so 122 122.2 minus 110 is 12.22 so he has obtained a loss of what uh 12.22 rupees clear okay fine now the question is half done okay in the first case he had obtained a profit of 10 rupee in the second case he, he faced a, he suffered a loss of uh 12.22 rupees now tell me whether he has he faced a loss or a profit exactly he faced a loss of minus or loss of 2.22 rupees clear so actually he faced a loss so the question is half done because two options are already gone the option a and b are eliminator by understanding that the person has actually suffered a loss now we have to find out the loss percentage clear okay simple idea uh, the loss percentage can be obtained by 
taking the loss divided by the cost price into 100. Okay. So, what is a loss here? He has a loss. We have to find out the loss percentage. So, in the first case, what was the loss percentage? It is a ratio of loss divided by cost price into 100, right? So, the loss here is 2.22. What is the cost price here? The cost price in the first case is 100 and second case is 122.22. So, in total, the cost price is 222.2, right? Into 100, right? So, multiplying here, 222. Uh, into 100, uh, it's actually 2.2222. So, 222.2 divided by 222.2. So, is 1 percentage. So, the person Sohan has suffered a loss of 1 percentage. When he sold one got at a profit of 10 percentage and the other got at a loss of 10 percentage while the selling price remains constant. So, the answer for the question is the person suffers a loss of 1 percentage. You may feel the question is a bit difficult and a bit lengthy. However, if you have, if you are, if you know the basic idea of this particular topic, you can solve this question within two minutes. Simple idea. So, practicing more and more questions from the particular topic makes you perfect. So, be a perfect man in CSA paper. Okay. Moving to next question. A person allows 10 percentage discount for cash payment. 10 percentage discount for cash payment from the marked price, not market price, don't confuse the word, marked price, price of a toy and still he makes a 10 percentage gain. Okay, fine. What is the cost price of the toy which is marked as rupees 770? Okay, so a toy was there, a toy was there and uh, it has a price of what actually 770 as displayed in the price tag clear okay so actually the uh, uh, the shop owner or the merchant was in favor of providing a discount of 10 percentage but even after providing the discount she has he, he has a profit he or she has a profit of 10 percentage so we have to find out what actually is the cost price of this particular toy okay fine so the mrp the mrp is 770 am i right yes and the Merchant is willing to provide a discount of 10 percentage. So, after discount, after discount, price will be. So, the discount will be given on the price attached to the, on the tag, 770 into 10, per, 10 by 100 because he is uh, willing to provide a discount of 10 percentage. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, cancel each other. So, the discount amount is 77. So, it has to be subtracted from the uh, price of displayed price. So, it is 693. So, the actual selling price here is 693. Okay, fine. So, the selling price is 693. We have to find a... Uh, uh, the cost price clear okay the gain percentage or the profit percentage is 10 percentage okay now the cost price can be obtained without by heart without following any abstract equations we have to find the cost price here okay this cost price can be obtained so uh, actually the selling price 1693 is equal to the cost price into Gain percentage is 10, per 10, that is 110 divided by 100. Am I right? Yes. So, the cost price can be written as 693 into 100 divided by 110. Is it correct? Yes, correct. 0, 0 will cancel each other. So, 693 divided by uh, 11 will be 6, 9, uh, 11 is 66. 3 remainder 33. So, 63. 63 into 10 is 630 rupees. So, the cost price of the particular toy is rupees 630 which is answer option c for this particular question simple idea taking the selling price as cost price into profit uh, or uh, 100 plus profit divided by 100 100 plus profit here the profit is 10 percentage so 100 plus profit is 110 so the cost price 
cost price, uh, sorry, selling price is cost price into 110 divided by 100. From that, we have obtained what actually is the cost price is. The cost price is 630 for this particular question. Simple idea. Okay. Moving to next question. Gopa bought a cell phone uh, and sold it to Ram at 10 percentage profit. Then Ram wanted to sell it back to Gopal at 10 percentage loss. Okay, fine. What will be Gopal's position if he agreed to buy back that good? For option neither option A neither loss nor gain. Option B loss of one percentage. Option C gain of one percentage. Option D gain 0.5 percentage. Okay, the uh, question is very simple. Okay, fine. See, Gopal bought a cell phone. See, Gopal is here. Um, Ram is here. Okay, they are close friends. Gopal bought a cell phone. Okay, so let the uh, cost price of Gopal be 100, which is easy to calculate. Okay, fine. So the cost price of Gopal is 100. And it sold to Ram at 10 percentage profit. Now you you are quick to find what actually is the selling price of Gopal. Yes, exactly. 100 into 110 by 100. That is what is the 110. So the selling price, the selling price of Gopal to Ram is equal to 110 without uh, multiplying anything without writing in equation 100 10 percentage so 110 will be the answer 100 is a cost price 10 percentage 10 percentage 100 is 10 rupee 100 plus 10 is 110 simple idea so 110 is the selling price of gobal to ram now this 110 will be the cost price of ram am i right yes so cost price of ram is 110 cost price of ram is 110 clear okay fine then ram wanted to sell it back to gobal at 10 percentage loss okay so, he want to sell it back to Gobal at 10 percentage loss. Okay, fine. So, Ram is willing to suffer a loss of 10 percentage. So, now this sell, we have to find out the selling percentage, uh, selling price here. Selling price can be obtained by taking the cost price into. See, the loss percentage is 10 percentage. So, then we have to write it as 90 by 100. Clear? 0, 0 cancel, 0, 0 cancel. 19, 11 into 9 is, it's 99. So, the selling price of Ram to Gobal is 99. Clear? So, now, buying price of Gobal is 99. That is, uh, Ram is willing or Ram is selling that same good back to Gobal by suffering a loss percentage of 10. Hence, we can say the selling price will be 99. That selling price is definitely the buying price of Gobal which is, which is 99. Now, the question is, if he has agreed to purchase that good, then what will be his position? Whether he is suffering a loss, whether he is suffering a profit, a, okay, we can check. See, actually the cost price of Gopal was uh, 100 and now he has brought back that good from the Ram at a price of 99. So, uh, whether it, here it, uh, uh, whether a loss or profit here, there is a profit here, a profit of what? 1 rupee, clear? There is a profit of 1 rupee, so loss will be cancel each other, uh, neither loss nor will be, non gain will be cancel each other. So, the option will be either C or D. Now, we have to find the percentage of, sorry, the option is a gain of 1 percentage, option D is gain of 0.5 percentage. Now, we have to find whether the, what is, what actually is the percentage of gain here. Okay, fine. It's easy to find. I, th uh, I know you have already got the answer here. See, the gain is, profit is 1, 1 rupee. Now, we have to find the profit percentage. What is, a, how can we find the profit percentage? Profit here, Cost price, what is the cost price? 100 into 100, 100, 100 cancel each other. So the answer is 1 percentage for this question. So the question number four, question number, uh, the answer for this particular question is gain of 1 percentage, simple answer. Got the idea? Okay, fine. Moving to the next question. Uh, a bookseller sold a number of geography textbook at the rate of rupees X per book, a plus 2 number of history textbook. 
a plus 2 number of history textbook at the rate of x plus 2 per book and a minus 2 number of mathematic textbook at the rate of x minus 2 per book what is what is his total sale in rupees simple question simple question by understanding a seven level or fifth level max one can simply answer this question a bookseller sold a number of geography books at the rate of x so the total price will be a into x for the uh, geography in, uh, for geography textbook plus uh, x a plus 2 number of so the number of textbook is a plus 2 a plus 2 into uh, at a rate of x plus 2 per book so total will be a plus 2 into x plus 2 plus third case a minus 2 number of mathematical textbook so a minus 2 number of mathematical textbook into x minus 2 rupees per textbook please simple idea so now we have to just uh, complete this pro uh, what uh, process so ax plus a into x is ax plus 2 into x is 2x plus um, 2a into 2 is 2a plus 2 into 2 is 4 plus a into x is ax minus 2 into a is 2a minus 2 into x is 2x plus 2 into 2 is 4 minus 2 minus 2 is becomes plus 4 clear okay fine uh, okay here comes a plus 2x here comes a minus 2x here comes a plus 2a here comes a minus 2a okay fine so 1ax 2ax here also an ax so ax plus ax plus ax it gives 3ax plus ax 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 okay, complete now the remaining is a plus 4 and a plus 4 so 4 plus 4 is 8 so the answer might be 3ax plus 4 3ax plus 8 yes there is an answer the answer for the question is option a3 ax plus 8 simple question very simple you should not miss such questions okay fine another question comes from the topic is a shopkeeper sells an article at rupees 40 and gets x percentage of profit fine however when he sells it at 20 he faces same percentage of loss what is the original cost of the article okay fine mm. it means that a shopkeeper sells an article at rupees 40 and gets x percentage of profit however when he sells it at uh, rupees 20 he faces same percentage of loss so here the uh, profit percentage is equal to loss percentage is equal to x percentage which is the question says okay fine and the uh, cost of the article let me take let me uh, take the cost of the article as x oh, x is already uh, given here is y okay okay in the first case okay in the first case we can write the cost price as we can write the cost price as selling price into okay in the first case we can return as 40 is the selling price selling price is equal to cost price plus x by 100 so uh, the cost per profit percentage is x x by 100 into cp this is the first case i can take this equation number one so this is a selling price this is a selling price selling price is obtained by adding the cost price and the profit on this particular cost price clear x by 100 into cost price simple idea in the second case when he sells it as rupees 20 then there is a loss of 10 percentage when he sells his particular good at 20 he faces same percentage of loss so it will be cost price minus selling price will be lower than the cost price so cp minus x by 100 into cp clear um, so i am taking uh, the cost price as cp itself so need not mention it as y clear okay so this is equation number two simple idea so 40 is equal to cp plus x by 100 into cp second case 20 is equal to cp minus x by 100 into cp why higher you may you may have a doubt that why i have written positive plus here and minus here why i have written plus here simply because he has earned a profit 
So I have to add this profit to the cost percentage, big, sorry, cost price because the selling price should be definite should be definitely greater than cost price in if there is a profit. If the person suffers a profit, then the selling price must be definitely greater than cost price, right? Hence, I should add the profit along with cost price here. But in case of a loss, the prof the loss the loss must be subtracted from the cost price because if a person suffers a loss, then the cost price will be higher than the selling price, and or the selling price will be lesser than the cost price. So if I if I have to get a selling price lesser than the cost price, I have to subtract this loss from the cost price. Simple idea, okay, okay. So this is the equation, and the answer is done. So if I if I am add equation one and two, if I am add equation one and two, what I get this x by hundred into CP and x by hundred into CP will cancel each other because here it is a plus, it is a minus here. So if I add equation of these equations together, then this portion will cancel each other, mutually cancel each other. Simple idea. Then the right side will be 60, 40 plus 6, 20 is 60, 60 is equal to what? 2 CP. Clear? If 2 CP is equal to 60, then CP is equal to 60 by 2. What is the answer? The answer is 30. So the actual cost of the particular good or the cost price of the good is 30 that we I have obtained. So the answer for this question is option C, rupees 30. Simple idea. Next question. Okay. A person bought a car and sold it for rupees 3 lakh. Okay. If he incurred a loss of rupee, uh, a loss of 20 percentage, then how much did he spend to buy the car? Okay, fine. So, uh, so the selling price is 3 lakh, right? And the loss percentage is 20 percentage. We have to find the cost price here, right? Okay. We have to find the cost price. Simply, uh, 3 lakh is equal to. So, selling price so actually he earned a loss of 20 rupees 20 percent okay fine so 3 lakh is equal to cost price into he has earned he has faced suffered a loss of 20 percentage then cost price into 80 by 100 will be equal to the selling price 3 lakh from here we can find out the cost price so the cost price will be is equal to 3 lakh into 100 divided by 80 0, 0 will cancel each other. So, again, 30 lakh divided by 8, 8324, 7856, 5840, remaining. Clear? So, the answer is 3,75,000. Yes, the answer for this question is option D, 3,75,000. Simple idea. We didn't uh, follow any follow any uh, uh, by uh, equations. We just focused on this basic idea that selling price is equal to cost price into uh, 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100. Clear, simple idea. Okay, so this is the answer. So the answer for the question is option D, 3,75. The last question from this particular topic. A shop owner offers the following discount options on an article to a customer. First one, a successive discount of 10% and 20% and then pay service tax of 10%. Successive discounts of 20% and 10% and then pay a service tax of 10%. Pay a service tax of 10% first, then successive discount of 20% and 10%. Which one of the following is correct? One only is the best option for the customer. Two only is the best option for the customer. Three only is the best option for the customer. All the options are equally good for the customer. Okay, fine. It's a simple question. Though the statement are a bit confusing and tempt the student to leave that question, but don't do that. In such a case, in such kind of questions, that the way will be the approach and the way will be very simple and the answer will be uh, very expected one. I can guess or everyone can guess the answer for this question is will be option D. All the options are equally good for the customer. However, let's prove, uh, prove that. For that, it is easy to, since the percentage are given as 10 percentage, 20 percentage, it is easy to take the actual price or the uh, 
displayed price as 100 percent 100 rupees okay so let the actual price be 100 so i am taking the actual price as 100 so in the first case in the first case uh he provided he uh, the shopkeeper provided a discount 10 percentage so 10 percentage of 100 is 10 so now the amount is 90 then he provided a discount of 20 percentage further so 20 minus what is the 20 percentage of 90 yes it's 18 then it gets what 72 or if we can write 90 minus 20 into 90 by 100 which is equal to which is equal to uh, cancel 9 times 2 is 80 19 minus 18 is equal to 72 clear so then he pays a service tax of 10 percentage so 72 into 10 by 100 so actually we get uh, 7.2 so 72 minus 7.2 clear simple okay fine so first case the final value will be 72 minus 7.2 okay let's move on to the next one first time he gets a successive discount of 20 percentage at 10 percentage so second case the actual price be 10 100 first of us a discount of 20 percentage 20 by 100 into 100 so actually what we get is nothing but 20 so the answer is 80 then he gives a discount of what uh, 10 percentage so 80 minus what is a 10 percentage 80 it's 8 then 72 so now the price is 72 then he pays a service tax of 10 percentage like in the previous case so definitely the final price will be 72 minus 7.2 simple so here also the idea is 72 minus 7.2 okay fine so now let's move on to the third one the initial price is 100 first time he pays a service tax of service tax of 10 percentage so definitely 100 minus 10 will be 90 right okay then he gives a discount of 20 percentage okay 90 minus 20 percentage 20 uh into 100 by 100 so 90 minus 20 no, sorry uh, uh 90 by 100 so it's 90 minus 9 times 2 is 18 so it's 72 and then provide a uh, discount of 10 percentage so here also 72 then a 10 percentage is provided so finally the answer will be 72 minus 7.2 here also why because in the last case in the in in every case situation the last point of discount is 10 percentage and the last point is 72 so 10 percentage of 72 is same for both in uh, in all the three cases so in all the three cases the final price uh, of that particular would be would be 72 minus 7.2 in the first case also second case and the third case clear so all the options are equally good for the customer that is answer for this particular question option d clear that's the end of this particular session we have done uh, a very limited number of questions from this particular topic profit and loss though the question seems to be a bit complex and con confusing the approach is very simple the ideas are very simple you have to pay little attention you have to pay very little attention uh, for reading what actually the question is demanding and what actually the idea regarding the profit loss cost price and selling price without following any uh, any uh, ready made equations we can solve the entire question by 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 understanding the basic idea that selling price is equal to cost price into 100 plus profit percentage by 100 or selling price is equal to cost price minus 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100 this basic idea is is essential or is necessary for answering any question from this particular topic as as well as the upsc CSAT paper is concerned so do watch this video and also the videos um, uh, of uh, video, the videos regarding other topics and we will continue the session we will continue the process with an another topic till then have a nice day thank you amrita ias academy